Welcome, welcome. I'm Sophia from the Junkie Forever and today's video is going to be my very delayed 2023 Project Pan finale. I just posted up the uh, update from way back in September. It was late. I'm sorry. But in doing that, I realized that these videos are very long. So I'm just going to get into it right now. Most of these items I stopped using at the end of 2023, like in that last week. Some of these items I rolled into my 2024 project. And I think it's only about two products that, I'm, that I've done that with. So you're going to get a sneak peek as to how I'm doing with those products. So let's get into it right now. As usual, I love to start with the best part. And the best part is the stuff that I finished. So I'm going to start with that. I finished two primers. The first one is this Laura Geller Spackle uh, makeup primer in the original. I was um, at this point when I first rolled it in. Then at my update in September, I was right here, which is right where the writing ends here. And as of this point, it is completely empty. Gone. Done. This was lovely. A little hydrating. I didn't necessarily need it, but lovely. The next primer I used up is this Ren Perfect Canvas Primer. I started it with, with it being completely new, so at the very top right here. Um, then halfway through the year, it was at this point, and the, during my last update, which would have been the September one, it was right here, and now I have finished. There's nothing, there's n nothing left, bone dry. Let's move on to base products. I used up my Kosas Revealer Concealer Mini. This was in the shade 1.5C. I really did enjoy this. This was a perfect under eye shade for me when I was tanned. However, it is not a shade that I can pull off in the middle of winter. I do need to get this in a lighter shade, but I just bought so many concealers that I'm taking it a little bit slowly. I'm probably going to buy it during the Sephora sale in the spring. I unintentionally used up this It Cosmetics CC Plus in the shade Fair. I used this up while I was actually mixing this with some deeper shades of the same formula, but it's done as you can see. It's, there's literally nothing left in there. I also completely used up this Rare Beauty setting powder. I was at this point right here, so like right here, and I've completely used it up. I used to enjoy this powder quite a lot, but then I discovered the e.l.f. Halo Glow powder, and that is just that's phenomenal. It surpasses this one. I've also used up this Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Face um, Tanning Spray. I absolutely love this for the face. It gives a very light glow. I've already got a backup bottle and I think this would be my third bottle used up. I love this stuff. I used up this Il Maquillage uh, Eyeliner in Batman. Look how small that is. There is nothing left. I can't even sharpen this anymore. It's all gone. I'm so glad. It was just a black liner. It was lovely, but um, I have so many black liners. I used up three lipsticks, so let's go through them. The first one is this uh, Chanel, I can never remember the name, Rouge Coco Shine 79 Saga. I love this. It was beautiful. They no longer make this shape or even this formula, I believe. And I dug into it. At some point, I just actually realized that I love using these nude lipsticks as a cream blush. I don't have cream blushes that are these shades. So after I finished using them on my lips, after like I reached the point where I couldn't go any further, I would just dig it out, put it in a compact and use it on my cheeks. It was lovely. The next one I used up, uh, this used to be a favorite of mine. It is the Pat McGrath lipstick. What was the formula? It was the Lux Trance lipstick in Sextrology. They no longer make this as well. I completely used it up and I Again, with this one, I dug into it for blush purposes. So once I finished using it uh, for a lipstick, once it like reached the plastic part right here, I just took it out, put it in the same compact as the Chanel and finished using it like that. I do love these, this packaging. Maybe I'll switch another lipstick into these. They are pretty, but my goal was to use it up and I did. I also used up the Pat McGrath lipstick in Lady Stardust. This was from the Blitz Trance lipstick formula. And this I didn't love as much on my lips because it was more chunky. So I used it predominantly for the lips, but I think there was a little bit more left at the top before I just depotted it into the compact and used it as a blush. I loved it as a blush. I really, really did. But as you can see, you can, you can see the bottom of it. So I've used up a whole lipstick. This was almost brand new when I brought this in uh, at the beginning of last year. My most exciting use up though will have to be the Urban Decay Double Down Brow in Brown Sugar. 
this was so hard. First of all, uh, let me show you the pan. It's this beauty right here. How lovely does that look? I did not intend to use this shade at all because it is just too dark for my brows. It Even on the outer half of the brows, it was too deep. I absolutely looked terrible with it. I looked like I had to sharpie on my brows and I was angry, so that was absolutely not going to happen. But this was so much product and in the beginning of the year it was dry, 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 bone dry. So I had to figure out how to rehydrate it and I did. I used a ton of Duraline. I think I had to use up like half a bottle of Duraline that I bought just for this. And once I did that, it was a beautiful product. And I was using this all the way into the last week of December. I think I finished using it around the 27th of December just in the nick of time and the problem with a product like this is that you literally can only use it in your eyebrows and there isn't a lot of that so there's only so much you can use and there's no way to multitask it so i finished it and i'm very excited this is the one that i'm most proud of so exciting now let's move on to the products that i reached my goals on but those goals were not to use these products up so the first one i want to mention is one of my absolute favorite natasha denona palettes and it is the retro glam palette my goal was to use this 10 times and i have used it 10 times i think by the time i did my last update um i used it six times and i used it the last four times that was easy enough this is a beautiful palette and an absolute favorite of mine Another one that I only had to use four more times and that was easy enough is this Pat McGrath X Bridgerton one. I can't remember which collab this is. I think this is the first one, but again, I only really had to use this four more times by the time that last update was recorded and I did use it four more times. I can't remember which colors, but I believe I used each one of these shades at least once. I introduced this Natasha Denona Mini Starlet palette during the last update when I recorded that and my goal was to use each one of these eyeshadows five times and I have reached that goal. So from a palette that I'd only used a single time to a palette that I enjoyed many, many times over because there was no look that included all of these shadows. I at most used three of these shadows at any given point and I got to use this and love this palette. I enjoy it very much. It's a perfect travel palette, by the way. Another perfect travel palette would have to be this uh, Pat McGrath Holiday 2023 little quad. I can't open it because the magnet is so strong. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So my goal with this Pat McGrath, what is the name of it? Celestial Nirvana Eyeshadow Palette in Bronze Bliss was to use this palette 10 times total and I have done that. This is an amazing palette, it's beautiful. If you come across this, I highly recommend that you purchase this. I had bought this um, at Marshalls for like $16 about a week before I introduced this. And I'm so glad I introduced this because this got a lot of love. The next product I met my goal on is this L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This was in the shade N3. I have three of these shades. I currently have N1 in my current project pan, but this baby was in for 10 uses and I absolutely loved it. So this was brand new when I brought it in and it is now right under where it says L'Oreal, right where it says Paris. Let me show you on the side. It's like right there. So I think that 10 uses actually got me through quite a lot of product. I didn't really need very much of this. I have to say though, because my skin when it's nice and tan is in like tip top condition. It doesn't really need much, but this was lovely and I enjoyed it. I can't wait to introduce this back into my project um, during the summer. The next product I met my goal on was this It Cosmetic CC Plus uh, Matte in the shade Light. So when I recorded my last uh, video, my last update, I hadn't used it even a single time. And between then and now I use this 10 times total and that was my goal to use it 10 times and I am now at this point right here so that's a pretty good chunk of product used and this has a ton of product I can't see yeah it has one full ounce of product I love this stuff this stuff is amazing the next two products I introduced together to use together and it is the Nyrus Light Reflecting Foundation I have two of them one of them is my shade the other one is not guess which one's my shade it is not this one right here. This was mismatched to me by quite a lot. This is four shades too deep almost at any any time of year. Even when I deep tan, I do not fit this shade. So let me tell you something. Whenever you're getting matched at Sephora, go outside <laughs> into the daylight. That is my tip. 
now you know what happened so my goal with this one was to actually just get some use on it because as of this summer this coming summer I would have had this for two years which is way too long actually no as of right now I've had this for two years so it is time to use it up I've had it for too long so it will be introduced at some point in this year's project but my goal was to reach the halfway point into the R or use it 15 times whichever came first and I reached halfway into the R pretty early on so I stopped using it so like right here and then I lost my tan and I didn't really want to waste the product just for the way just for the purpose of using it so I am right here in the middle and when I introduce this into this project again into the 2024 project pan it will be to deepen this shade up which is Mont Blanc this is Patagonia this is Mont Blanc which is a lovely shade on me for most of the year but in the summer can be a little too light so these two being the same formula are actually going to be perfect together but technically I reached my goals on this a lip product I met my goal on I mean it wasn't a very big goal but I met my goal on is this Pat McGrath Labs uh what is the name liquid lust legendary wear matte lipstick in divine rose my goal was to use it five times over the course of the fall and i did i don't really love liquid lipstick so i set myself a reachable goal and i met it now let's move on to the products that i did not reach my goals on despite the fact that i used up or met my goals on 72 items last year in my project pan these just we're not it so let's start with the chanel highlighter this is the chanel camellia de chanel highlighter and my goal was to use this at least 30 times and i use it like 12. so it's looking different the camellia is worn down a little bit more it is still a lovely product i'm not getting rid of it i actually did not intend to use this up i just wanted to use to use it a little bit more because when I did buy this this was $75 so it was very expensive and then it was very shimmery and I had a collector's mindset so now I really want to use it and I'm excited that I got some use on it I don't know if this will be introduced again into a project this year mainly because I just have so many highlighters that will be rolling in at some point but this baby was loved even if I didn't reach my goals I got more usage on it than I've ever had before in any given year a palette I absolutely struggled with would have to be this Viseart palette. It's just these six shades, by the way, just ignore these completely. I struggled with it so much. For something that I wanted to use up last year, uh, no, <laughs> I did not. But there's something about these. I think um, the mattes are not my favorite. They're not, I think they're a little bit old now. And maybe I'm going to have to use maybe like one at a time or even repress in order to possibly revive them a little bit. I'm not sure, but I barely got any use on it. I think I got about seven uses plus the six I'd used prior to that. Um, I don't know. Basically, I got less than 30 uses on this entire palette. So that is a huge, huge failure. Um, I will keep this in my collection. However, I'm not going to be introducing this anytime soon. I have a lot of palettes I wanna work on. I may work on like individual shades out of this at some point, but I'm not sure, we'll see. But this was a huge failure, huge, huge. The Chanel I was okay with. This one, not at all. Let's go through the lip liners and eyeliners now. There were so many of them. The first thing I wanna mention, uh, the Urban Decay 24 hour eyeliner in whiskey which was the brown eyeliner i've decluttered it i absolutely hated it it turned out to be very reddish brown made me look sick so that's out of the collection and since i mentioned an eyeliner first i'm just going to continue with the eyeliners i had three eyeliners that i wanted to work on last year uh, one of them was this urban decay shade in lucky and this is a beautiful copper shade and i did not really use it mainly because it's a lot deeper of a copper than you'd imagine like straight on it looks like really vibrant and really bright but then slightly to the side and suddenly it's almost blackish and I didn't really enjoy it as much I will keep this in my collection because there's a time and place for it but I didn't really use it very much I think um, I used it about five times before I realized that I was just not digging those looks and I put it on the side because I was like oh yeah I'll use it I'll use it I'll use it I did not use it use it or use it I did attempt to use it I sharpened it I believe twice before you know I put it to the side then the other two uh, eyeliners were these Milani metallic ones. They sent these to me when they launched them. There was a point where I was getting a lot of products sent to me. So a lot of these products are very old because they came to me when they launched. I didn't actually purchase some of them. 
So this first one is the shade 04 Bronze Gleam. And it's a beautiful shade. And I believe I used it um, under 10 times, I have to say. Uh, but this is the shade, by the way. It's definitely like a bronzy shade. It's beautiful. I don't have another one of these or something similar in my collection. So I'm going to keep this in my collection. Originally, I was thinking I might declutter it. But no, I will keep this in my collection. However, it's not a shade that looks good on me all the time because I have very fair complexion. Sometimes I lean neutral and sometimes I lean more cool neutral. So I very rarely lean warm enough to be able to pull this off with any real regularity. But the other shade, and I believe, um, I believe, I don't know if I mentioned, but if I didn't, I sharpened this, I believe, just a single time. And then this one, I believe I sharpened three times. And this is in the shade, it's so hard to read this. I cannot actually read it, but Nope, can't read it. It's the number one shade and it's a little bit more golden, but the problem with this is it's also a pretty dark gold. As you can see, it's um, a deeper gold than I can easily pull off for most of the year. Again, I don't have another shade like this, so I'm just going to keep this in my collection, though if I were to choose between one or the other, I would uh, get rid of this gold one first before I got rid of the brown one. And mind you, for all three of these, my original goal was to use them up. Not getting close. And the next three liners are lip liners. The first lip liner is this Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner in the shade 8C. This is a very cool toned liner, and I believe my goal was to use it up. It has not been used up, as you can see. There's still quite a lot of product. And then I really wanted to make like small, you know, bite sized goals, and it was to use it five times, and I used it four times. Um, this is a very cool toned. Uh, red lip and I just wasn't using a lot of that last year to be honest I'm not in a rush to use it up now that I look at it because I don't have a lot of uh, red lip liners like that so I don't mind that I still have it in my collection but I really wanted to at least get halfway through it but I didn't despite the fact that I had a lipstick in the same project that was cool toned red and nope the other lipstick uh, was also red and it this is also going to be a sneak peek as to how I'm doing with my 2024 project pan because this actually is in my 2024 project pan and I've, I'm actually wearing it today under a lipstick I'm going to be introducing at my next um, update, at my first update, which is going to be in about a week. But um, so sneak peek, I've been using it and I've actually gotten it to a point where I've gotten to um, sharpen it about four times because this lip look has been absolutely thrilling for me. So I, but, but last year uh, the goal was to use it up and I certainly didn't use it up since I'm still holding it right now. And if anything, I'd actually used it only about six times all of last year. So this was a failure for last year, but I think it's going to be a success for this year. This is, by the way, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Lip Pencil in 714. I think I have a backup of this somewhere. And it looks like this one right here. So as you can see, this is more cool toned than this one. And this is definitely more warm toned. It works beautifully under the lipstick I'm wearing over it right now. So the next product that I had that I did not reach a goal on was this, again, Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. I do love this lip liner. The only reason this was in the project was actually because I have a backup of this that is brand new. So I just wanted to get some usage on it. My goal, I believe, was to use it about 15 times and I used it... Um, I used it about 11, I believe. Yeah, 11 times. So I didn't reach it, but I used it a little bit more. I just, I wish I'd used it significantly more. This is a really beautiful shade. So I'm going to make an effort to actually use this naturally throughout this year. And the red lipstick I mentioned just a couple of minutes ago that I did not get to use up was the Surratt uh, Rubis Lip Click. And this is in this beautiful cool tone shade let me swatch it and show it to you this is what that looks like it's beautiful it's like a very beautiful cherry shade but i didn't really use it despite the fact that this doesn't have a lot of product um this has 1.6 grams of product i had no reason not to use this up but i didn't i mean it's one of those products that you have to click up and can't click back down but by the fact that there's still product at the top you know it's not used up so i don't know how much is left but it's still there so it's not it's not a success the next product that I didn't use up, but the goal was at the beginning of the year, at the very least, to use it up, was this Natasha Denona lip gloss in Daphne. 
this is a beautiful shade i do love it i only use it about eight times i believe um it didn't make much of a difference so this was not a success i do like the lip gloss i just wanted it to be you know get getting some use on it but it didn't another lip gloss that or lip balm whichever you want to call it that didn't really get much use on it though i currently have it rolled into this pro into the 2024 project so this is a bit of a sneak peek as well is this sunday summer fridays not sunday really summer fridays lip butter balm in brown sugar so my goal was to use this up i clearly didn't and i believe when i introduced it into the 2024 project i was somewhere there however and this is a sneak peek for how much i did get to use it i am like right there like halfway so i've used quite a significant amount of this i don't think i'm going to finish this before the next 2024 project update but here's another sneak peek at that i do love it it's a beautiful product i love the vanilla clear version of this absolutely that is like at my in my bedside table and I use this, I use that every night. Another lip balm I did not get to use up, even though I wanted to use it, is this uh, Super Goop Unseen Lip Sunscreen. And I hate this product. I actually really do. And for no other reason than the smell. And I wanted to use this 40 times. I did not get to use it 40 times. If anything, I rolled it into, I stupidly rolled it into the project pan in 2024. And I think I'm just going to be tossing it. Even my boyfriend doesn't like it. It doesn't smell like mint. It smells like tea tree oil, which is terrible. I don't want it. And you know what? A sunscreen you don't wear is not an effective sunscreen. So I think that this was a complete fail. I don't even mind that I didn't use it up. This was a waste of my money and I don't recommend it. I didn't mean to, to review that, but there we are. A lipstick that I worked on but didn't get to use up before the end of the year is this Pat McGrath uh, lipstick. This is again in the Blitz Trans lipstick formula in Skin Sane. I, this was brand new at the beginning of last year. So I only have this much left and that's quite a lot used, I would say, but you know, it's not all the way used, so it's not fully successful. I think though that I'm going to try and roll this in into the 2024 project at some point because I do like it. I do uh, find it enjoyable to use and it's going to make a beautiful cream blush at some point. The next two products are the Merit Bronze Bombs. The first one I'm going to show you is the shade Clay. This one was pretty successful but not fully used up. So when I first introduced these products, there was like this much product or maybe a little bit more. Yeah, like about this much product hanging out off the top. See, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, hanging out over the top. But I used up enough where now it is recessed. This isn't yet rolled into my project pan for this year, but it will be um, at my next update. So another sneak peek. Uh, and I'm going to give you one more in just a second. But as you can see, I've gotten quite a good use on it. But, you know, it's not used up. There's still product there. So that's not a success. And the last one is in the shade Quince. Now, Quince was almost brand new when I introduced it into the 2023 project pan and almost equally brand new when I introduced it into the 2024 project pan. However, um, and it was again, there was the same protrusion about half a half a centimeter. At this point, I am going to show you it is recessed by quite a lot because what I did, I'm going to show you really quickly again, sneak peek. What I did was actually cut off uh, a chunk of it and I smooshed it into another container. Now that container still has product, but all you need to know is that this was not successful. So what is that? Sneak peek number five into the next update of Project Pan 2024. Uh, and the last product I didn't use up is actually the Caviar Anti-Aging Smoothing Hydrogel A. And when I was last mentioning this, I was somewhere down here. Not much has moved, mainly because I actually just... Um, gave this to my boyfriend. So I'm not going to rush him. He's having a far better time using this than I am. This is no longer mine. I just stole it from his bathroom counter. So I'm going to have to give it back. But that's it for the 2023 Project Pan finale. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.